Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I have a video for you where I am going to show you how you can build an ELT pipeline with Google BigQuery, Apache Airflow, DBT, and use Astronomer Cosmos to run your DBT jobs much more easily uh, than just using a bunch of bash operators or having to replicate every step of your project within Astro or within Airflow. Uh, instead, you can just point DBT or at Cosmos at your DBT directory, read in your project and render it as a DAG. Super easy. Um, and I'm gonna pair that with showing you how you can run a general ingestion into Google BigQuery so you know how you can get your data in there, transform it super efficiently using Google BigQuery. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing we're gonna do is just go open up terminal and open up a clean new directory for us to use for this. So CD into desktop and then into data guy video repos. And then we're gonna make directory ELT BigQuery CD in there and then run astro dev init. This will just spin up a blank airflow directory here. And then we're gonna open this up and start customizing all of our different packages and requirements. So open up Google BigQuery here. So what we'll do here is just go open up our requirements file and then paste in a few different requirements. So here, just gonna need different airflow providers. So Google BigQuery, HTTP hook, just cause we're gonna use an API, Slack, Slack webhook, because I'm going to just show you how you can configure alerts on this DAG. Um, and then also Astronomer Cosmos for DBT for actually running those workflows and requests so we can make API requests really easily. And then I'm just gonna remove the versions from this because I'm playing it safe. And then once you're done with that, they're all set up to go create your first DAG. Actually, I'm wrong, one second first you're actually going to want to first create a new folder in here called dbt project. Um, and this is where you are going to store your dbt project. So wherever you have a dbt project stored, and I'm just gonna pull one up right now, you're going to want to pull that and drop it into here. So under your dbt project here, we are going to bring in our Jaffle shop and then drag and drop this over here. So icons and then boom so now we have our dbt project and this has all of our macros models everything you would typically have within your dbt project within this dags folder so it'll be available when we create our dag to actually render and capture our dbt models then what we'll do is actually create our dbt dag so google BigQuery elt dot pi and then this out, Let's see, close this, um, and now we can start building out our DAG. So first thing we're gonna do is just bring in all of our different packages and requirements. So here, we're going to import. Donald Trump things. has picked. So one second. So here we have all our different packages and requirements. So we have the typical DAG and task requirements. Um, you have BigQuery insert job for inserting our data into BigQuery. Uh, local file system to GCS. We're going to use Google Cloud Storage as an intermediary uh, staging area before our data actually goes into BigQuery, which is pretty much required there. Then we're going to use the operator to go from GCS to BigQuery, so actually taking our data from Google Cloud Storage, storing it in BigQuery. Then we're going to import the HTTP hooks. So we can run HTTP requests, use a hook to pull data from an API endpoint. Then we're also going to import a series of different uh, options from Astronomer Cosmos. So these are basically different tools that are going to allow us to use uh, the dbt dag object. Um, also, we need to use the dbt task group object. Um, and then project config, profile config, execution config. So this is going to allow us to reference our dbt project that we just included in here. Profile config will convert an Airflow connection into a dbt connection. So you can just use your Airflow connection to connect to your Google BigQuery database. And then execution config is referring to a dbt virtual environment, which we're going to create now. And to do that, all you need to do is add this uh, line to your Docker file to just create a dbt uh, uh, local, you know, DB, local dbt environment so where you can use it uh, to run our dbt jobs next to Airflow. And then here under my adapter, we're going to put dbt BigQuery because we're using the dbt BigQuery uh, adapter because we're going to be interacting with BigQuery. Then we're also going to, uh, actually we don't need this uh, Cosmos profile, um, so we don't need to bring in that. Instead, what we're gonna be bringing in is actually the one for Google Cloud Service Account uh, file profile mapping. So this will just allow us to uh, use a file to connect to big uh, 
Google Cloud, and then thus I connect to BigQuery. Um, I convert it from an uh, astronomer or an airflow connection into a DBT connection. Then we have our Slack webhook operator, date, time, and JSON. Um, so date, time, just for standardized JSON. Date, time, JSON for interacting with those API uh, JSON uh, requests we're gonna get back. And now we're all set. Um, so now we can actually start building our DAG. We got all our packages and requirements set up. So now let's start building our DAG. So first thing we're gonna do is just set some default args, nice and simple here. Just, you know, owner airflow, um, depends on pass false, email failure false, and retries, just some basics. Um, then we're also going to create two arrays, one for our different API endpoints and one for our different BigQuery tables. So I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate parallelism in this because something you're always gonna to wanna to think about, especially with large data sets, is how you can use Airflow's parallelism to actually do all these operations in parallel. Um, then what I'm gonna do here, just delete this, I don't have it here. Um, is start defining our DAG. So here, DAG complex ETL pipeline. Um, and then what we're going to do is start building out all our pipelines. Um, so first thing is extracting data from multiple APIs in parallel. So we're gonna use, we're gonna expand these later. So you actually don't need to build parallelism into the task definition. We're just going to expand it to create multiple task instances in parallel later. So here, extract data from API, just running, uh, hitting whatever API connection you want to pull your data from, so use this HTTP connection ID, then hitting that endpoint, hitting that, uh, you know, using run hook, uh, getting the response, saving it as a JSON, then saving it into a local file path, um, which is, you know, stripping the endpoint, um, so basically just giving it Blake character endpoints, we just know, hey, file equals endpoint, um, then dumping it into just a JSON file on my local machine. Then the next step we're gonna go through is actually just validating the data. So this is where I'm going to implement some very basic data validation. Um, so just making sure that data is, there's no nulls, there's no you know, IDs that don't have data. Um, this is where you would probably want to bring in some more complex data validation around your specific use case. So making sure, you know, hey, there's no nulls, things like that, uh, before you actually waste time uploading this into any object storage. Uh, and then once the files have been validated, we'll define another function to just load those uploaded files into GCS. So just using local file system to GCS operator, building it dynamically, setting in that file path that we defined earlier. So again, file path here. Um, and then we're actually gonna be passing this downstream um, and using the .expand method. So that's why you just have file path here. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is load data from GCS into BigQuery. So here, let me actually just remove this part. Um, this is stupid. There we go. Um, so next, GCS to BigQuery operator. So here we're loading into BigQuery with that table name, file path. Uh, again, we're gonna inject all these at runtime. Um, and so here, bucket, my GCS bucket, um, source objects and file path, destination project tables, um, and different schema fields. So bring in your own schema here as well. Uh, the write mode, so write truncated mode if you want to overwrite or choose that here. Um, and then also time partitioning, so partitioning each upload by day within BigQuery, so you don't just have one table, you have your data that is time partitioned. Um, so those are your two uh, operators here for you know, GCS and Google and uploading the data into Google Cloud Storage and uploading it into BigQuery. Now the next and most interesting step in my mind is actually setting up um, the uh, Cosmos part of this. So now we're going to define a dbt task group that's going to pull from our local directory. Now actually before they do that I just want to update these operators with the correct implementation. I realized that they were wrong. So here what you're going to want to do is this. Um, and not that. You're not going to want to replace it with V. You're going to want to copy and paste it there. So here you're going to use the dot expand here, validate files, and then also before do it this way. It's a weird thing where Python files you can have exchange with each other, but for other ones you need to define the Python functions and then dot it and then pass them before you actually call the next non-Python uh, operator. So just fun little kink there that I forgot about for a second. So here you just dot, use the dot expand method here, and same thing for the different projects uh, or different tables and for the different source files as well here. So just slightly changing how you're defining those tasks. Um, and then after that, what we're then doing is actually defining our dbt project directory and our dbt task group. So here, 
So now we have a few different things I just added here. So first we have the project config, and this is just referring to your root path. So wherever Java shop is stored, in this case, right here alongside my DAX folder, pointing it towards that so it is able to read in our project config and know where to look for that dbt project. Then we have our execution config, and this is telling it to run in a, a GCP cloud job. Actually, we want to change this to be running locally. So this is if you want to run it in cloud, what we're actually going to want to do here is delete this, have execution config be here. And then what this is going to do is just run it locally on that, uh, run it locally within that virtual environment we created for dbt um, within the Docker file. And then the profile config here, what you're doing is passing in the connection. So Airflow DB, this would also just, you know, be like your DCP default, pass in the connection that, you know, credentials that have connections into your Google BigQuery database. Um, and then this Google Cloud Service Account file profile mapping will convert it into a dbt compatible profile. Then what this will do is render your uh, dbt project as a task group within Airflow. So it'll be downstream of these previous tasks once we add the necessary uh, mappings. So first, before we do that, just going to add Slack notification. So once it's successful, you're going to get this uh, Slack notifier using your Slack webhook. Um, and then our task dependencies are going to be here instead of dbt-tg, we're going to put shaffle shop and boom. Now you have a DAG that does an ELT workflow, collecting data from an API, bringing it into Google Cloud Storage, bringing it into Google BigQuery before using dbt to transform it, and then Slack to send you a notification about the success of those transformations. Um, so that's really all you need. Um, you just add your Google connection as normal, um, and you're off to the races. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you want me to extend or you know make any other kind of videos on this topic or another, let me know in the comments. I love making viewer request videos. I love helping the people. Uh, but above all else, have a great rest of your day. Data guy out.